Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So in this video, we will learn how we can update a node in Firebase real-time database. So we have done with the creating and reading operation in Firebase database. Now this is the time to see how we can perform an update operation in Firebase database. So what we'll do in this artist list when we will long press it, then it will open a alert dialog and in that alert dialog we can put the new values and press a button to update the values so the first thing we need to do is we need to define the layout for this alert dialog for this come inside the resource file and inside layout we will create a new xml file so select new layout resource file and we will create a file name update dialog that's it So now in this layout we will create uh, an edit text where user will fill the new value for updating the value. So let's create an edit text here and we can also create a text view to display the artist name that is being updated. So let's have a text view here and then we need an edit text. So drag an edit text and then we need a button to update the value. So drag a button as well so we have a text view the edit text and the button now change the ids let's say text view name and edit text name let's change the text with hint and put enter new name now update and then button update now change the appearance to let's say large and alignment is center this is good I guess now let's put some padding as well that's it so we have the layout ready for our alert dialog now come to main activity and here we will create a method and this method will display the alert dialog so let's create a method let's say private void show update dialog and we will pass the artist id and the artist name to this method so we will define a string artist id and string artist name that's it now first we will create an alert dialog builder so we will write alert dialog dot builder and then the object name dialog builder and equals to new alert dialog dot builder and we will pass the current context that's it now we will inflate our xml layout so for this we will create an layout inflator object so write layout inflator inflator equals to get layout inflator now we will create a view so write final view dialog view equals to and we will inflate the xml layout so we will use the inflator object dot inflate and the first parameter is the layout that we created so it is update dialog and the next parameter can be null so that's it now we will set the view to our dialog builder as this view so we have dialog builder dot set view and we'll pass the dialog view that's it now we will get the edit text and the button from the layout so for this we will write final edit text edit text let's say name equals to edit text and from the dialog view we can get the resource id dot find view by id r dot id dot edit text name and we will do the same for text view so this is our text view and
and then the text view name so write text view name or you can put any object name but the id should be the id that we given in the xml side and that is text view name so we have the text view name and we have the oops cast it to text view so we have the text view we have the edit text now we need the button so we will create the button update equals to button find view by id r dot id dot button update that's it now we will set the title to the dialog builder dialog builder dot set title let's say updating our test or we can put the artist name here actually so we don't need this text view that we created so i'll remove this so remove this we don't need it and remove remove it from here as well so we don't have it now now we have the added text and the button update oops one thing is missing we also need an spinner to update the genre of the artist so drag a spinner here as well and for the entries we will use the array that we have already created so let's see the array name so we have genres so we will use this array so come back to update dialog and write so we can write here at the rate of array slash genres so we have the entries now do the same for the spinner as well so we need final spinner spinner generates equals to spinner oops spinner and then dialog view dot find view by id r dot id dot uh, what is the id of the spinner let's name it spinner generate so that's it so here we will write spinner generates so we have the spinner and we have set the title to the dialog now we will create our alert dialog so for this we will write alert dialog and say alert dialog equals to we will use the dialog builder object dialog builder dot create that's it now we can show the alert dialog let's check the alert dialog is visible or not so run the application oops we need to call this method first so what we will do we will implement a on long click listener on the spinner on the list that we already have so we have list view artists so here we will add uh, an on long click listener to our list view artists So let's add it right list view artists dot set on long and then we have a new listener that's it now here we will get the selected artist from the artist list this artist array list so we will write artist We will use the model class artist artist equals to then from the array we will get the specified position so oops we have implemented the wrong method so delete it and let's implement it again it should be on item long click listener on item long click listener the new that's it 
now here we will get the artist first so artist artist equals to then the array list artists dot get and we can use the position i which is this integer i so we will pass i now that's it now we will call the show update dialog method and we will pass the artist name from the artist object first one is the artist id and then the artist name so write get artist name that's it now run the application so let's long click on any one of the artists so we have the oops i clicked it so we have the alert dialog and here we are seeing the artist id so there is something wrong let's check it so i am put i have given the artist id here so it should be artist name so that's it it is working now what we will do we will add a click listener to this button so let's add a click listener button update dot set on click listener and here we will create a new listener that's it so we have the listener and here we will call a method that will delete the artist so the delete operation is very simple oops the update operation sorry so the update operation is very simple so what we will do we will create a method here let's create the method first so we will create a boolean method private boolean or it can be void as well so then we will write update our test that's it now this method will take id of the artist the new name and the new genre so we have all the three things now what we will do we will create a database reference so write database reference let's say database reference equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and we need to get inside the artists node so artist node and we need to get inside this the particular artist of this id so we will write dot child and we will pass the id that's it so we have the reference of the particular artist that is to be updated now what we will do we will create a new artist with the new value so we will write artist artist equals to new artist and we will pass id name and generate now we have the new artist now we can again use the set value method to overwrite the current artist with the new value so what we will do we will use the database reference object dot set value and we will pass the art test now that's it now we can display a toast like art test updated now show now return true here that's it now here we will call this method but first we need to get the new value so let's say string name equals to edit text name dot get text dot to string dot trim now string genre equals to spinner generates dot get selected item dot to string that's it now we can also check if the new name is empty so let's say text utils dot is empty and pass the name now if it is empty we can set the error edit text name dot set error and name required that's it now if it's not empty we will update the artist so we will write update artist and we will pass the artist id which is here artist id so we'll write artist id and name and generate 
now this is how we can update the artist now let's check it we forgot to dismiss the dialogue so after updating the artist we will dismiss the dialogue so we will write alert so put this thing above and and right here alert dialog dot dismiss that's it now run the application now let's try updating an artist so let's say we need to update Atif Aslam so oops so let's enter the new name let's say Muhammad Atif Aslam and then hit on update you can see the artist is updated check the firebase database you can see the updated value is here so this is how we can update the values on firebase database so that's it for this video guys and in the next video we will see the final operation that is deleting an existing value from the database meanwhile if you found the video helpful please subscribe to the channel and share this video among your friends and tell everyone who is learning about firebase and android this motivates me to create more content for you and we will see you and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.